Far away. Norm, you talked a lot yesterday and, and even last week about just defense and, and obviously that key and everything. Did you feel like that happened tonight? Uh, I think we had some moments that we, we defended pretty well. Um, we also had some moments that we, you know, KJ Fallon, you know, with one second left on the shot clock on the three, and, you know, us giving up that uh, lob, which we talked about that, Scott McCoy, no things like that we uh, didn't cover. But I thought we got our hands on, on, on loose balls quickly. I thought we turned that into offense pretty fast, uh, you know, early on. Are these guys as, as fast as, as last year yet? Is that can you tell that? Uh, I don't know if we can tell that, but I think there are times that we look really fast. I think Jay Will helps with that. Sure. Again, now Kevin is fast. He is fast, and, and Grady can run too. So, and then when you got KJ at the five, it looks even faster. You know. So I thought we had some good moments like that. When, when you look at a, a guy like Grady making a start, freshman, been thinking about playing here in that moment for 15 years probably. What, what's that like for you guys to, to see that and then to see him put up the night he did? Well, he's, he's a terrific kid. He's goofy, too. So he, he, he's a terrific kid. He doesn't worry about anything. You know, he's just thinking about the next shot going in. And uh, so he's uh, uh, he's gotten better and better. He's getting a little bit better on the defensive end. Uh, he didn't do a great job rebounding. We, 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 as a team, we have to do a better job rebounding. But, uh, I thought I thought he had a really good night. He's always ready to catch and shoot, make a play. He finished a couple in transition that were good, and he did get his hands on a couple of Paul's defense. Norm, what would you? What are the two five? Well, just tonight, you know, mostly KJ and, and Ernest. What do they give you? What's different about them? How, you know, what can you play to? Well, they both give us energy. They both give us energy. Uh, obviously, Ernest is bigger. And uh, we've got to have a big guy that's going to come through for us that can rebound and protect the rim. I, I told Ernest tonight, I said, you, you, we talk so much to you about blocking shots. When I think it was a seven point game, he blocks that shot, the whole place goes bananas. And then that pumps energy into everything else we're doing and then we go on the run. And it's so important for him to do those things. KJ, I thought, was phenomenal in the first half. It seemed like he got to every loose ball. Offensive, you know, he had seven offensive rebounds. He was terrific that way and everything. But he's got to be more of a threat to score, too, at that position. What, what's Ernest have to do to, to maybe earn just a little bit more trust? He, he knows he's got to uh, screen better. He's got to screen better. Obviously, he knows what we're doing. But defensively, he's got to be able to protect the rim. He's got to be able to protect the rim. He's got to be able to move his feet on ball screens. But, you know, he's young. It, it, it's coming on. We know that. And this is what the non-conference season's about. How, last thing, how did you think he screened tonight? I thought he got better. I thought he got better at trying to screen. They were running under screens quite a bit. And he actually got a foul. So I said to him, hey, that's good. You at least fouled somebody because you actually hit somebody. So he's getting better at it. Norm, what do you like out of Bobby tonight? Oh, Bobby was terrific. Energy. He he came on the court and he was aggressive. He was aggressive to score, aggressive to get the ball downhill. We ran a couple of things where we tried to get some lobs off a bit, and and they stayed with the lob guy, which allowed him to attack the basket. I thought he gave us a great brace. And I know Juan's pretty entrenched in his role, but I guess what's possible for Bobby at this point? Well, he'll be a backup to Juan, yeah. but there's going to be times when we play them both together because, you know, Juan is a little bit longer than what you think, so he can guard some bigger guys. And then Bobby's strong, so Bobby can guard some guys down there too, you know, when we got to switch defensively. So they'll play something together. Norm, what did you think of Jalen almost getting a triple-double? I thought Jalen was terrific. Uh, the, the one thing with Jalen, we want him to be aggressive, Sometimes he's got to let the ball move and let the game come to him. He just wants to go and take it uh, upon himself to just go. But but I thought he did a good job tonight. He did a good job on the glass, and he made some big baskets for us. What was it like uh, coaching the game? It was great. It was great. It was a lot of fun. The arena's energy when that place gets juice and starts going crazy. It, it it's a lot of fun to be in there. When our guy our guys felt that energy and and it really pushed them forward. Any obvious differences? I know you came out late. You usually come out real early. Yeah, yeah, I came out late. I actually took a nap today. I needed that. And uh, uh, I didn't do big little with the guys. Coach Dooley took that over for me. So uh, 
but I did my regular ritual. Has Coach Self texted you or called yet? Uh, no, I cannot talk to him until tomorrow. Oh. So he knows that. Coach, uh, back here. Yeah. Just wondering if uh, this rekindled any memories of St. John's since this is your first role as in this. It did. Event. It did. You know, I, I think what it is is uh, you're, you're anxious leading up to it. And then kind of when you got out there, it kind of was like, okay, coach, you know, try to help the guys. And, and they know it's about players. Uh, I think me and Joe talked about that earlier today as shoot around because there had to be a voice that had to be the one voice, which was mine. And it kind of rekindled that of, you know, running your own shoot arounds and those things. So it, it was fun in that way. When you talk about Jalen and, and think about what he did tonight and the start he got off to, you know, you remember his start last year, obviously missed a few games, but then slowly get going in his head a little bit. How important was it for him to, to start on this kind of a note? Well, I, I think Jalen's in a totally different mindset now. I mean, totally as a person, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that he's done uh, this year and, and, and last year. He's he's so confident in himself and what he's doing out there, confident in his teammates and those things. He's, he's a totally different person. So I'm excited for him. Any other questions for Coach? Coach, uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.